We just heard uh, an interview uh, with uh, three of our leaders in GCCA. I am uh, still at COP27 in Chamalchek, and we have the pleasure to have a discussion now with uh, Meandra Singhi. Uh, Meandra Singhi is the CEO of Dalmia Cement, one of the leading companies in India uh, on sustainability, and one of the business leaders in this COP27 that comes and tells us about what we are doing and how we are actually uh, implementing the net zero delivery in emerging countries in India. Sure. Hello, Meandra. My ha pleasure to be here. Thank ha you very much. Happy morning, Mr. Thomas. My first question, um, what, what do we do at COP27? Why are you at COP27? You know, uh, COP27 always gives confidence for future. When we come here and try to understand from world leaders also, business leaders also, civil society also, that what has been done so far and what would be done. So that gives us confidence. And second one is, from cement sector point of view, we are able to give confidence to all stakeholders, including the all uh, NISA leaders also, that we are also doing our best. And when that happens, then you know, it leverages confidence up. And since I have been attending this COP, since COP21, so I do feel that I learn a lot here. I share a lot here as well. We have been able to enhance the image of world cement sector. Thank you for that. Um, Mirna, you, you said you are participating at COP since 2021, since COP21 actually. Um, we are in this famous decade to deliver, 2020 to 2030. We are three years to go, so that's one third of the way. How do you assess the progress made so far? And how do you assess the actual situation of the cement sector in the context of this COP and in the, in the journey to net, net zero? I would say when COP21 happened and then Paris Climate Agreement happened, at that time there was no visibility as such that what's going to happen for hard to abit sector, cement, steel, aluminum, etc. But then the way momentum has taken up, the way uh, uh, all uh, businesses also have started aligning with this uh, Paris Climate Agreement and thereafter net zero as well. when. Uh, government also started involving uh, business and uh, private uh, actors then you know everywhere the desire was how what we can do because we are also very important part of the society and that's why uh, i think every cement company every steel company every industry started thinking and you know the one good part was that in 2018 dalbia cement also could think of that on our own what we can do and uh, that was the stage when we committed in cop 24 that Dalmia cement would be net zero carbon cement company by 2040, not 2050, and carbon negative also. And then by sharing all these thoughts, etc., as well, the efforts uh, which uh, GCCA could do in last three years, I would say there is great progress, great hope, and now people should call cement sector uh, possible to abate sector instead of uh, hard to abate sector. And now actions are visible. Now the numbers are visible. Now uh, carbon footprints are visible. And I do say most of the time that we are in the process of converting gray uh, footprints to green footprints of carbon. And that would be a great way of saving our future, saving our grandchildren, and saving the planet. That's a very nice way of saying it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, we, we have this objective in 2030, which is quite ambitious. I mean, uh, you know, at the end of the decade, what do you see over the next seven years, uh, the roadblocks ahead, the challenge, and how do we uh, overcome this one? You know, as per our philosophy, we do try to see opportunity and challenge together. And uh, this is also our philosophy that clean and green is profitable and sustainable. So many actions which we are taking and which we have taken so far, which has brought down our carbon footprint to a, one of the lowest level in global cement sector, I would say this is a great opportunity. But at the same time, few clean technologies which have to be applied to make cement or concrete net zero in that few uh, technology like uh, how to capture the carbon dioxide and then it's up to us to utilize it in a way which can support circular economy or to bury it in the ground which may uh, come up after 30 years, 50 years. So one of the challenge is to implement the CCU in a big way on a plant level, not on pilot level and then rope in the right partners who can manufacture from carbon or carbon dioxide fertilizer, soda ash, carbon rod, concrete, etc. And third and most important would be how to get a finance partner. 
Until unless finance partners there, until unless they are also ready to take risk, and until unless they are also able to do business unusual way. The usual way they are also doing, we are doing. But now it's not time when we do business usual way. We have to do unusual way. And when we do that, then we no, uh, need partner who are concerned about the future and who can also take risk. So one is uh, clean technology to be applied at a, a, a broader level. Second, finance. And third, again, commitment of cement industry themselves also that whatever may happen, let me think of mid-term and long-term, not short-term. And this is what the vision of Dalma Cement is, and this is what now vision of GCCA, because uh, under your leadership and under leadership of uh, many companies, uh, we have been able to chart out, and which has slowly, slowly given the target. Now, if I talk of Dalmia Cement, you know, what we have also done is that we have identified that every year, every fifth year, what would be the carbon footprint by taking action A, B, C, that's being uh, audited by the right people as per GRI, as per CDP, as per SBTI. And so uh, there are challenges, there are opportunities also. And what uh, other uh, opportunity which I see particularly in emerging economy, where there is a no policy of polluter to pay, that how to replace fossil fuel by alternate fuel. I do know in Europe uh, and America, uh, they are great champions who are using alternate fuel or we say green fuel in big way. But it's a challenge in India because uh, we have to pay for even the alternate fuel also. So this is a challenge which government is trying to address, which is uh, many cities, municipalities are trying to address. So if that happens, it will go a long way for emerging economy also. And that's why we are saying to the government, please create some demonstration projects, both for CCU also, as well as for planting sustainable trees, mm -hmm. which can be used for some time for absorbing the carbon dioxide of the globe and then use it uh, as a fuel to replace fossil fuel. Well, thank you very much for all these answers. Uh, it's time for us to cut. Uh, we see you later. On thank you very much again and for thank this you. interval. Thank and thanks for leading us. Thank you very much for that. <laughs>